give you guys a little bit of an update here on our uh, long weekend here in Canada for our Thanksgiving at quarter to five in the evening. So what am I doing on a Sunday? Thanksgiving is actually Monday for us, but a lot of people celebrate it Sunday because then they still got the Monday off of work. Of course, here at Old Time Garage, we don't have the day off of work. We got to keep on working. So what are we doing here? Well, we're listening to a little Johnny Cash in the background and we've got my 58 sitting out here. So if you all remember, I think last time I showed you, we had just put this door on. If we hadn't, we got the door on it now, but wait till you see this. Now the one thing here, we got to tell you guys. I told you I'm trying to build this car kind of a 60s kind of era looking car. I mean, it's not 100% probably, but it, it's it's close to what I like anyway. So um, I've been the thing, good thing about eBay is you can search and search and eventually one day you might find what you're looking for. I've tried all the swaps and all that and phoned all the people I know. And what did I find? I found a Cal Custom original tube grill for my car, which I've been looking for for nearly a year and I found one it came across on eBay and I bought it and of course you know where it is it's in the car so let's take a look let's crawl around all this junk here and let's give you the wow factor look at that now if you guys aren't familiar with the 58 Fords they got a honeycomb grill and then right across the center where my fingers facing like that and then in the middle they got a they got a bar that comes across with a circle with the emblem and then you know it, it continues I really didn't like the look of that. I was either going to run the honeycomb grill without the center bar, or as I said, I wanted the tube grill. Could have made a tube grill, but it's so cool that I found a Cal Custom one. And at the end of the day, the time I would have made one, went through the bullshit. I mean, everyone's time is worth something. Had it played it, all the crap. I couldn't have got it for what I got this for. I got a smoking deal on this, or at least I think I did. So there we go. So I got my front bumper all bolted up and on. I got my headlight doors on. Got my um, upper piece of chrome on. Uh, the tube grills in, like I say, just kind of playing around with it today. I gave her a little bit of a quick wash down. Now, this car is still not finished in its final cut wax and, and then polish and sealer. Uh, if you remember, Bruce has been polishing it up. Um, we did a wet sand and polish on this car. So that's why if you look at it, I don't know if it shows in the camera, but in certain light, if you're, if you're here in person, the car's a little hazy in some areas. Um, just because, like I say, it hasn't had the final cut polish and stuff like that, so... Now, of course, the back areas where all the chrome is put on, it has been finished off there. I'm just talking in the areas where you see no chrome and that. But that's it. This is how I'm spending my Thanksgiving, and I'm loving it. I am loving it. Because my cars are my family. <laughs> yep. So she's coming along quite well. Got the front seat in there. I got a. Now, I did put a Mexican blanket on the seat just because... I drive my vehicle, so I get in and out of them with my dirty clothes on. So I threw the blanket on there, and uh, just to kind of save this upholstery, because you can see that this is a very light color, and uh, it's not white, actually, it is gray, but it's probably the lightest gray you can get. So it's going to get filthy pretty quick with a guy like me. But um, the Mexican blanket does the trick. And if I do go to a car show, which I rarely do, because I'd sooner be driving my cars rather than sitting for eight hours in a fucking parking lot, uh, I can take the blanket off. So, yeah, we got her all complete in here. Yes, of course, we got our uh, we got our nifty pack of matches right there. Not that we're smokers, but hey, you gotta have your matches in there. That's it, so we gotta put our delete plate on. I've actually got a delete plate for the radio there. I got speaker covers gotta go on. Obviously, once we get all the chrome on the outside, the door panels and stuff will go on there, so. But she's getting there. Slowly but surely. So there you go, guys. There's a little update on what's going on. So, um, you know, another day or two farting around with it here and there. And then the old 58 is done. And, of course, you know, here we are mid-October almost. It'll, uh, it'll be raining, snowing, and all the bullshit, and I won't be driving it. But that's okay, because you know why? Because then... We're going to go on to that old girl sitting right there. Right now we're gathering parts up on it, but then we're going to go on to carry it away. And the t-shirts, for all you guys that are out there watching, the t-shirts are being printed as we speak. You remember now I'm doing that car for my buddy Terry who's had a stroke. That car is a huge history car. Just look it up, Court Elliott. It's one of the top 10 customs for 1963 for Carcraft Magazine. It's a huge deal for us up here. 
and I can't wait to start on it. But I especially can't wait to be driving this old girl. So, that's it guys. So on that note, thanks for subscribing. Remember, it's always a good time at old time, and we'll see you next time.